Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm partnering with Lily Silk to bring you how to style basics without looking boring. I love basic pieces, as you know, those good foundational items that are like super versatile, they mix and match with a bunch of different things, and they're easily interchangeable. And I think that they're a really good place to build your closet. But also, over the last couple years, I've figured out ways to have a basic foundation without feeling boring or redundant. So I'm going to go over some of the things that I've learned with you in today's video. They're going to cover things like changing up the silhouette of something, maybe the color or the overall pattern, and then also how you're pairing them so that you can get maximum versatility without feeling bored. So before we hop into it, I also want to share the code that Lily Silk gave me to give you for 15% off their entire website. So that is COIN15, and I will put all of that in the description box down below for you. So let's get started. Let's start off with what I mean when I refer to a basic in your closet. So for me, these are foundational items. They act as a great canvas or a blank slate for your accessories, different hairstyles and makeup, and your personal expression to really come through. But you can mix and match them a bunch of different ways to get a totally different effect. So when it comes to building your closet with these basics, but then also changing them up and styling them so that they don't feel boring, one of the easiest ways I think to do that is to focus on the silhouette or the overall cut and the shape of something. So let's use a basic white shirt for example. When I think of a basic white shirt, I think of a collared shirt with buttons down the front, typically straighter and slimmer through the body, long sleeves and cuffs and little buttons down there. Really simple and kind of nothing. You can find it everywhere throughout um, recent history when it comes to fashion. And I think the fastest way to make that feel different while still getting the same effect of a blank canvas is to go for maybe something cropped, a little bit boxier in the overall fit, and then maybe short sleeves. And that makes it feel totally different, but it's still giving you that same blank slate effect. So you can then style it up and add accessories and all of these different things to really put your personal touch on it. So then of course, these exact same principles can also apply to basic t-shirts. So maybe that's a white t-shirt, maybe something with a crew neck and short sleeves, and you can go up or down a size to give it a more relaxed or more fitted look, and then also change the silhouette, just like we just talked about with the white shirt. So go for something cropped and a little bit boxy. That makes everything feel totally different, and it's something that I'm really personally loving at the moment. And then if we focus on maybe a long sleeve t-shirt, a standard style with a crew neck, this is one that I've had in my closet for many years. It's a great foundation. I can mix and match it a lot of different ways. But if I wanted to have something that feels almost exactly the same when I wear it, but looks totally different in the end result, I would focus specifically on the neckline. So rather than go for a crew neck, opting for a boat neck is a wonderful way to make it feel totally different. It gives some geometry up by the neck and by the face, I think brings some interest up there and it makes it feel a lot more sophisticated than the standard crew neck style. And then of course you can style it up. So I've rolled it so that it's more of a three quarter sleeve, which changes the proportions even further. And I think makes it feel really fun, even though it feels exactly the same as wearing a very classic crew neck t-shirt. So using the idea that a basic in your closet is a foundational item and acts as a blank canvas for your expression and your style, I think a really good way to step slightly out of, the, out of your comfort zone while still styling something that you're familiar with is to change up the pattern of something. So using the white shirt again as an example, if you opt from the white shirt for instead something with a print, maybe something striped like you see here, it changes up the energy of the outfit and conveys more about my personal style and my preferences. And of course, you can have so much fun with the pattern. So instead of stripes, you could go for polka dots, maybe floral, a big floral or a small floral to work in proportions with your body. And then also maybe something more watercolor and a little bit more dreamy. It's a really, really easy way to take something that you know how to style already, something you know mixes and matches well with the other things in your wardrobe, but you can inject some personality and 
push your style forward a little bit more. It makes everything a little bit more obvious because with personal style, in my experience, choosing a solid is impactful and choosing a print is impactful. So depending on the impact you want, you can go for what's going to send that message and have a lot more fun. Now, of course, I had to dedicate a section of this video to dressing things up and dressing them down. I love that way of dressing. It's probably my favorite way to style clothing. And I really like that versatility. I will rarely buy things that are just formal or just casual because I like being able to wear a lot of my clothes a lot of different ways. So when it comes to sending the message of casual or formal, I think it really comes down to two things with some bonus points at the end. So the first is what you're pairing something with. So if we focus on a basic shirt, for example, and you pair it with a pair of formal pants, that automatically pushes it towards dressy. Versus if you pair it with a pair of jeans, it automatically makes it feel more casual. This is so obvious, but sometimes it takes pulling your really pretty formal blouse out of your closet and pairing it with tattered jeans to really see the impact. And then the next part would be the shoes. I think shoes are so important for your outfit. And I did a whole video about this where I took one outfit and then just changed the shoes and you can really see how it transforms it. So in this instance, if you're wanting something to go all the way formal or all the way casual, definitely pay attention to the shoes. Maybe a higher heel or a pointed toe, something with some jewels or bedazzling on it, or something really casual like a sneaker. Since a totally different energy and you can take that same shirt paired with the formal pants but if you pair it with sneakers it feels casual again versus that same foundation with a pair of heels or fancy shoes feels fancy so play around with it I think that really opening up the possibilities of not compartmentalizing your closet too much can give you a lot of freedom, and I think you'll be very happy with the results. And last but not least is to focus in on accessories. Accessories are so important for personal expression and really pushing forward your personal style. And they're also going to make or break how redundant you find your wardrobe and how tiresome it can be to wear kind of the same outfit over and over again. So I really encourage you to find accessories that really showcase who you are and make you feel really great when you wear them, just like everything. So I think that an easy way to see this in action is to put on one of your favorite outfits, maybe a t-shirt and pants or a pretty blouse and pants, then stand in front of your mirror and literally do nothing else but change out your jewelry or your accessories, your handbag, your earrings, your rings, your necklaces, your bracelets, and take pictures of it. And then watch the progression when you go back through those outfits, you'll immediately be drawn to some, some you won't be, and you'll be able to see how much an outfit really is a blank canvas for your expression and your accessories. And there you have it. Those are some of the ways that I like to style basics without feeling boring. So hopefully seeing these visually represented can spark some creativity. And as you're evolving as a person and your style is evolving, you'll be able to fall back on some of these without feeling like you have to redo your entire wardrobe. So I will link everything down below for you along with the discount code. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.